So I had my Camaro V6 for two years now. I'm not gonna let you know if I should have waited to get in V8 or did I make the right decision in buying my Camaro V6 at the age of 18. Uh, great the service, move, man. Great service. Man, probably finna do something for the clothes brand or do something to the car, man. Whichever one, whichever one we get into, man. That's big. Y'all boy, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man, and enjoy the video. I pull it up, nigga. Sipping on sir. Posting a trap with cut your bitch at Ted like what was the word? And I ain't no picture, but a young nigga do get flies a bird. And you can call me G Herbert the way I made the 392 word. So what's good YouTube man? In today's video, it's gonna be a little boring video, but I'm gonna try to make it as much entertaining as possible. It's too hot outside for me to have my car in the background. If you don't want to just sit here and watch, I suggest you just put in some AirPods and just listening. And this is mainly for the people that are planning on getting them a Camaro V. Well, not gonna say Camaro. Camaro. Honestly, I wouldn't even recommend you getting a Dodge V6. What the fuck is this piece of shit? So. I'm just gonna say a Mustang V6 or a Camaro V6. If you plan on getting one of them, you should watch this video. Do I regret regret doing that or what's a mistake that came with that? Um, do I regret it? I really don't regret it. Even though it's stopping me now from getting my um V8 because I have negative equity on my car. Which if you don't know what negative equity is, negative equity is like let's say your car is worth ten thousand and you Oh, 20,000 on your loan, your negative equity is 10,000. So, like, if you're young like me, you're not going to get approved for any car loan with negative equity. So, that's what stopped me from getting my V8 now is that until I get my negative equity paid down, don't nobody want to approve me for another car. That right there is my only mistake that I feel I have made in buying this car because I didn't know about negative equity when I went and got it. And remember, I said I had two years now and I'm still having made be able to make the trade in yet. The, the reason that I feel that I made the right choice is because my Camaro V6 opened me up to so many opportunities like to make this video to my YouTube channel to me just having a TikTok account. I had a 2016 Toyota Camry before this and I tried modifying it. I put a picture of it. Try modifying it, that didn't take me nowhere. Like, y'all, I didn't go nowhere with that. Like, literally. Like, I feel that somebody that has put the same amount of money into a. Well, a Camaro V6 is a daily car, but it's still a sports car. So, somebody have put the same amount of money into another car than a sports car. A sports car is always going to get more attention, sadly. Like, Bully, can you be quiet? I'm making a video. That was my dog. I'm going to put a Toyota Camry, for instance. Let's say a person have a Toyota Camry that they drop $5,000 in. And I got, like, my VC is Camaro that I drop $5,000. I actually done put, like, around $5,000 in it, which is crazy work. Man, you stupid bitch. Let's say that they got that $5,000 put in. We pull up to a car meet. My car is going to be looked at before they look at their camera, sadly. And so it... So it works like that online as well. Even though his this build may be harder and more unique because it's not something that you see people rarely build, but that's just how it works. Like online, if you're scrolling, bro, and you see the sports car, you're gonna stop and look at it before you look at a Camry or something. You know what I'm saying? Unless that Camry is a crazy, but you have to have a crazy build to stop and get attention on a car like that. But that's just how it works, man. So that's why I feel that it has opened me up to some opportunities that I feel if I never got it now, I wouldn't. Um, and another thing with it is that it helped me build my credit. Cause so as you can see, I don't know if the camera focusing, but my credit score is 775 and I just went up 13 points. Now, like I said, this car has opened me up to so many opportunities to build my credit and to when I'm ready to get a V8, it's like boom like that it'll make it so much make the process so much easier because i have credit history and all now like it's at the end of the day this is when you're trying to buy a va or whatever through your credit you just don't have like fucking twenty thousand dollars to go put down i mean if you got that money to put down go so well go ahead but um let's get into performance wise of a v6 performance wise of a v6 like i said i had a camera before this and before that i had a dodge avenger both of them had no more than 200 horsepower. Um, let's see how much horsepower my camera had. I said no more 200 horsepower. I had 178 horsepower. So 178 horsepower to uh, 325 horsepower. And now I'm probably pushing like 350 with my mods. That's it crank, by the way. From 178 to 325 horsepower is a still of a good jump. And it feel like there was some power. But now I have gotten used to that. It honestly feels slow. 
Especially when I drove a V8 or I ride in a V8, it honestly feels slow. Besides a Hemi. Hmm. I still feel the performance wise is good because a V6 is faster than your daily car. That's just that. Like, like I say, a daily car like that is a 2016 Camry. A lot of people say that a V6 is daily. I mean, it's daily, but it's still like a sports car. What I'm saying. But that's still faster than than the Camry, bro. If Camry want to line it up, that's easy, easy win. Um, like a if you probably look up a 2008 Ford GT or something, uh. My Camaro is beating that because them cars have, it's a V8, but it has lower horsepower. So when I'm saying V8 right now, I'm pretty much talking about the bigger dogs, the newer years. I'm not talking about the older years. A lot of people be like, why you just didn't get an older year V8? I don't like the look, bro. I feel you can build them, make them look good, be fast and all that. But I honestly did not like the look. When I went, because I was just an 18 year old at this moment. I didn't care for a V8 or a V6 when I went and bought my car. I just wanted a sports car. To get away from the Camry, because I always wanted to build a sports car, that's all. I didn't care for a V8 at all. And I'm sure a lot of people that go to buy VC really don't care for a V8. They just like the look of the car or want to do something to the car. How much longer until I trade in for a V8? That goes back to my negative equity. Um, I probably got another year. Another year or two, honestly. Before I can make that trade in with my negative equity paid down. Um, I'm thirsty, hold on. That was busting, bro. I hit my dog. I'm honestly ready for a V8 sooner or later. I can get away earlier, but y'all gotta come through with the support, man. Like, for real. I mean, YouTube gotta blow up or something. Y'all gotta come through with the support. Y'all wanna see that happen early. Be realistic with yourself when you're buying a car, bro. Like, if you know you're not gonna be able to afford a V8 within the span of a year don't wait bro honestly just get the v6 to hold you down for the meantime you're gonna get a lot of hate i'm gonna tell you that now v6 the hate that i get is honestly crazy bro like i could probably just go to my tiktok comments right now why get a v6 wait i asked i it's the hate is crazy bro a lot of people hate it i don't know why i don't think they understand that you gotta start somewhere and they honestly be the people that fucking don't even have nothing like that'd be the crazy part they just go to trend and then the people that actually have v8 they the most humble people ever. I promise you. They the humble people ever because they know what it feels like to actually, you know, you got to come up. They be the most humble people ever. Honestly, do as you please, bro. It's your money. Don't care about what people think, man. Do, do whatever you want. It's your money, bro. If they not putting money in your pocket, they got no reason to tell you what kind of car that you should buy as a human. Yeah, the V6 is pretty much worth it. After a while, you're going to get tired of it. Even if you get a V8, honestly, you're going to get tired of it using the horsepower. That's any car you get. If you get a Hellcat, you're probably going to get tired of it after a while. Like, you're going to get used to that little 700 horsepower, and you're going to want some more. That's why a lot of people don't keep their car stock and performance-wise. You're going to get tired of it and want more power. But, yeah, um, man, that's a pretty short video. Appreciate you for tuning in. So, But back to the credit part. If y'all want to see a video of how I built my credit so fast at my age and how often have an 800 credit score um i could drop a video on that anything y'all want me to drop a video on if y'all want me to drop my payments that i'm paying on my camaro i'll drop that um anything y'all want man i'll drop it bro i'll be completely blunt about it and yeah appreciate you for tuning in